Here's how to get a refund for your app store purchase. Now, whether you purchased an app, an in-app purchase, or maybe a child did somebody that is using your credit card on their Apple ID, I'm gonna show you how to get a refund. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll hop into Safari, a web browser, and we'll just type in app store refund. And the very first thing is request a refund for apps. So I can go in here and it says, sign in to report a problem to apple.apple.com. However, first I wanna show you one of the caveats. It says at the very bottom of it, it says, if the charge is pending, then you need to wait until it's fully been charged until you can request a refund. And then if you have an unpaid order, again, you need to fully pay for it and then request a refund. So there are two different reasons why potentially you could not have a refund, you know, or request a refund because it has to fully pay for it. And then you can go to Apple and request them to give that money back. So let's go through this process. Let's go to reportaproblem.apple.com. It'll use my face ID just to log into my Apple ID. And it pops up with, what can we help you with? And I tap on, I'd like to request a refund. And then you can go, basically, I didn't mean to buy this. A child made the purchase without my permission, whatever it may be. Let's just say I didn't mean to buy this. And then I'm going to hit next here, and it'll show me the different options in terms of different apps or subscriptions that I could get a refund for. So you just tap on one of those, and then you hit submit at the very top. They'll review it, and then they will give you a refund. Now, another thing to check is if you're having a child or someone else make purchases on your card, you can always turn that off just by hopping out of here and going into settings. And then you're going to tap where it says family right under your name. And you can see there are a few different people on my family, but at the bottom it says subscriptions. I have two shared subscriptions and purchase sharing. So if you have purchase sharing turned on, then whoever else is in your iCloud or Apple ID family can use your card to make purchases. So if that's turned on, you can just go into it and just basically delete it or disable that purchase sharing so that if they're in your family, they still have to have their own card or payment method to be able to buy any apps or in-app purchases. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.